In this video, I'm going to show you what is ResearchGear and how you can use for research purpose. Now I am on the home page of my ResearchGear. So these are the tabs. Overview, Contributions, Information, Stats, Reputation and Research Interest. So in my overview, actually this is the basic introduction about me you can improve and these are my skills and expertise you see it's 50 and you can edit from this pencil uh, you see here if you want to do editing and furthermore it's showing me that I have uploaded 12 research items and my rates is 5394 and my work has been cited 153 times right so there's this all about the overview now the contribution so the second tab is the contributions contribution means that what you are contributing to the research community so this is very simple if you are uploading your research article or if you uploading uh, some projects or if you are asking questions through ResearchGate or if you are answering some students or some researcher through ResearchGate so that is your contribution here. My contribution means that uh, uh, these are my articles I have been published you see these are my articles so my articles are uh, 12 research articles items and articles 11 and the rest is some questions in those things and you can see I ask seven questions here and I answer 22 times and 96 is my followers and my work has been cited 153 times right that's what all about the contribution under the information uh, it gives uh, my full details uh, about me so we can see these are my skills and expertise and these are my topics which I am interested and this is my research experience you see you can also add some other teaching or whatever experience you have and these are my awards and achievements and these are my contact details you see my Skype ID my date of birth everything so this is very nice uh, website and here it means that 96 uh, 69 people following me and I am following 93 people I, I will think you what this followers and following means uh, if I am following the people uh, this means that when they publish uh, a new research or uh, whatever they do in their libraries they are directly uploading so I will get a notification here in this place I will get notification that this guy has been published a new article if you are interested you can read it so this is very nice way if you are following someone so the next one is the stats that means that it it showing your uh, algorithm that uh, how your graph is improving with the time so basically this is it's showing me that my rate is 5394 and uh, it's talking about this is the last 75 week you see in my citation is this last four months and I have 13 recommendations you see this means that the the total reads comes from publications uh, 2387 and this is from my project 9 and from my questions you see almost 3000 so I always recommend that when you want to increase your research get score so ask question and interacting with people the next one is reputations reputation means that uh, uh, how I am in research yet uh, whether I am uh, reported or not mean that uh, what is my score etc so it's showing that my research get score is almost 25 these 25 total scores come from these things 84 percent from publications my research article 14% from questions when you are asking questions or if you are answering so your research get will get increasing it will go up and my 1.5 almost 4 uh, from answers and 0.07% from followers so all these accumulatively give me research get score and in this very nice place the research get says that 
my score is higher than 80% of the ResearchGate members. So this means that if 100 people using ResearchGate, so I am better researcher than 80%. So it's a very nice way people sometime in your uh, uh, evaluation are those things. It also in, uh, included this ResearchGate score. The next is research interest. Under the research interest, it will show you to the people that in which field you are interested. So for instance, I am solar cell interested. Oh, if somebody is interested in my work view, so he will follow me. And I am interested in these research, so I ask questions and also stable prescribed solar cell. And I am, I, these are my questions, so people can see that what kind of question I am asking. So these are my uh, research interest. One last thing I want to add that if you already followed someone, so for example, I, I, I follow these people and I want to click on NG Park. This is one of the great researcher. So you see, this means that I can directly send message to him. When you click on this message, so a box will appear here. When a box is appear, so you can put subject line and message and direct send to him. You see, this is a very nice way to communicate with people. But if you have not follow him, so you cannot uh, send message to him, and once you once you send the message and he uh, reply to you, you you will get notification in this place like the other uh, uh, social media you see so these are the messages people uh, uh, sending each other dear Kamaroli have a nice day and it's please and many thanks for this article with regard you see so people sending each other research articles so I can say that ResearchGate is the best platform to ask people, ask researchers to get their publication, their research articles because it's quite difficult to uh, access to all of the journals like Nature, Science and ACS, RAC, but in, for instance, uh, some university have only access to one publisher and they cannot access to the other journals so they have to pay. So research gear, through research gear, you can contact, you can directly ask your researcher, Matt, please send me this article, this article, and etc. I hope, guys, you understand how to use uh, research gear.